Hello, welcome to another class of Digital Design with Verilog. Today class we will discuss about RTL design, ASM design with example and earlier classes also we have discussed many examples but today classes we will discuss some more examples and with detailed uh, implementations and detailed data path and control path implementations. So, let us start with the class. So, again for today classes outline is uh, uh, complete design examples. In particular, today classes we will discuss about uh, simple RTL, very very simplistic RTL design and another example more protein counter with some extra outputs. And uh, in general, uh, whenever you are de designing any uh, digital system, sequential digital system, so we generally some steps we generally follow. So, these steps are actually modeling the problem using a ASM, so particularly FSM plus data path data path generations, FSM plus data path interconnections and interfacing with outer world. So, here also today we will discuss about for these two simple problems, simple RTL uh, problem and Marpur counter, how we can uh, design ASM, ASM and how we can infer data path and uh, what are the uh, general uh, thumb rule for inferring data path. So, that we will also discuss, okay, let us start with the class. And for this class, so reference material is chapter 8 of Mano book, 6th editions, design at RTL levels and one or two extra references. So, let us look at another examples, example 9. So, in this example, let us look at. So, suppose uh, we want to do find the ASM chart corresponding to the following descriptions, just like similar to FSM. So, what we are saying, let us start with English like statement, from this try to generate ASM. Okay, so, so there are two states A and B, this is English like statements. If in state A input x is 0, then the next state is A. If in state A the input is 1, input x is 1, then the next state is B. Similar to FSM description, this is the ASM descriptions. And if in state B, if the input y is 1, then the next state is B. If in state B input y is 0, then next state is A. So, from state A, if there is an input x, then for 0 and 1, what will happen? That is this given. And from state B, suppose uh, input y, another input y, based on that, what will happen? So, if you are in state B, and you are getting a y is equal to 1, then it goes to next state B. And output z equal to 1 when the circuit is in state B. So, from the ASM chart we can infer because output equal to 1 when the state is B. So, clearly this is more type of machines, more type of machines. So, output depend on the states. Okay. And these are the transitions based on the input. And clearly, so in this uh, examples, first suppose you are in state A and we are not specifying anything about input Y. Similarly, if you are in state B, we are not specifying anything about input X. That means, uh, in terms of FSM, so we will say FSM is not complete unless for all input all states there must be some transitions, but in ASM case we generally do not consider the completeness case. Okay. And what are the solutions? Total number of states, there are two state A and B, total number of state is 2, then total number of input is 2, there is x and y and one output z. This is the very high level means uh, discussion of the, of the problem, from the problem where finding out how many states are there. There are two states in this problem and there are two input x and y and output is z. And clearly we can say, so if you are in state A, so there are two states A and B and if you are in state A, so transitions depend only on input x, not on y. So here in this case, so if you are in state A, then if you are getting any what you can say 
input input value based on input value of x it goes to if it is 1 then it goes to state b if it is 0 then it retain the same state it goes to the same state ok. And if you are in state b then output is equal to 1. So, this is kind of more kind of modeling more kind of modeling and in this case if you are in state b then if you are getting input y input y means whatever the input value of y it decides whether you are going to state b again or you are going to state a. So, if y is equal to 0 then it is going to state a otherwise it is going to state b. So, based on the value of input y. So, clearly in this case also so we are not considering suppose you are in state a who are not caring what is the value of uh, y. So, if you are in state b so we do not care what is the value of x ok. So, from the English like specifications we come up with this what you can say ASM chart. So, this is uh, only ASM chart we have looked at. So, in the next examples uh, not only we will design the ASM charts. So, we will infer what are the uh, data path components, what will the control path detail examples and total interconnections we will look at ok. This example 10 is more detail input detail what I can say uh, version of the problem. So, an example 11 will be much I mean, uh, further detail we will analyze. So, ASM is clearly data path plus control path. So, let us look at the English like statement find the data path and ASM for the following statements. So, here what is saying what are the data path and what are the ASM for the problem ok. So, English like statement is we first need to load two register R1 and R2 with some value from the input, input may be from the switches ok or from external world. Then we will then need to add the two register R1 and R2, R1 and R2 and save the result into register R3 ok. This particular whenever you say register, register is by default it is a sequential element and in register to put the value into register we need to do the load enables, enable the load. So, that will come. So, definitely we need to take care of that thing. So, for the English like statement is we first need to load two register R1 or R2 with some values. We will then need to add two register R1 or R2 and save the result into R3. So, it is doing means simple operations R3 is equal to R1 plus R2 ok. And before that so R1 is equal to some values value 1 and R2 is equal to some value 2 we are doing and this V1 and V2 are getting from the switches external switches and all these operations should occur if a start signal is activated. So, so what operations loading the register R1 or R2 then in the next step so it should add and store into R3. So, what we can think so uh, uh, clearly first initialize then load then store ok. So, load the value into R1 or R2 and then store the result into R3. So, clearly there will be two load operations loading to R1 or R2 and loading result to R3. So, what will be the if you translate to hardware then how it look like. So, we need to clear the register first. If the start signal set to 0 then I do nothing else if the start signal is set to 1 I load R1 R2 with values V1 and V2. And next enable R3 to be loaded that is load 2 need to be enabled so that we can store the result of R1 plus R2 to R3. So, this one is a 
R3 is equal to R1 plus R2. So, in this case, this adder, particularly this adder, adder is a combinational element. So, and it do not require any extra signals. Once it gets the values, it computes. But for sequential elements, so we need to provide the proper control. So, particularly load, clear, so what all the informations we need to provide. And input outputs clearly start is an input signals, uses a switch and clear is an output signals generate and connected to R1, R2 and R3. So, suppose you are designing ASM or controller for this, suppose you are designing a controller then start is input to the controller, clear is an output, okay. then load 1 is output signal generated and connected to R1 and R2 load 2 is an output signal generated and connected to R3 and clearly if you look at the things, so this FSM, so should have actually, suppose this is a controller, then it have actually input signal start, okay, start and it have 3 output CLR, LD1 and LD2. So, clearly it required to generate. So, that means our ASM should be able to generate these three signals okay. and clear in the first cycle or initial time it should generate whenever start is equal to 0 at that time it should clear and start is equal to 1 it should load the values and in the next time so it should again compute and store the values and compute means by default it is a combinational element, it is compute by default. And if you look at the data path, data path will be two register clearly R1 and R2 based on the English like statement. So, another register R3 and there is a adder and this one is actually combinational one and this is R1, R2 and R3 these are actually sequential element, sequential element and sequential element we require clock, also we require load signals, okay. So, clear all load signals. So, let us uh, uh, have some uh, clear signals. So, all register have suppose clear signals, whenever clear signal is on means this register R1, R2 and R3 all three will be initialized to 0. So, clear means CLR it says that R1, R2 and R3 all will be initialized to 0. Okay, so, in right term is R1 is equal to 0, R2 is equal to 0 and R3 is equal to 0. Clear signal means and whenever once we want to load something to register R1 and R2 then it load need to get enabled particularly this load 1. So, this signals load 1 it may be connected to the both the register from the same source. Okay, load on it to enable, then only what were the input coming from the switches will enter to the register R1 and R2. Both load need to be enabled and clock positive edge of clock. clock. So, in general, what happens uh, uh, in register? So, value get entered to the register if load signal is 1 and the clock is in rising edge or if it is a falling edge register then it is uh, get into register falling edge. Okay. So, at the clock edge this value get entered if the load signal is 1. Similarly, for register 3 also, so output of adder will get into the register R3 if L2 this uh, LD2 load 2 signal is on or it is 1. So, they are the control input. So, this is implemented by ASM. So, this what control input for the data path required to be generated. So, in this case control input are CLR, LD1 and LD2. So, these are the three control input we need to generate from our ASM or our controller. So, this is the data path. So, this, this one is data path and ASM. So, algorithmic state machines of the same problem. So, 
in state E. So, initially so the system will be in state E and in that case all will be cleared. So, R1, R2 and R3 all will be clear. Okay. So, and in state E, so that means you are uh, not giving start signal. So, once it is given start signal, it will go to state B and C. Okay. And here S is a conditions, this one is conditions, this one is conditions. Once start signal is 1, then only it will execute B and C. And for how many cycle it will do? So, in the next cycle, suppose S is equal to 1, in the next cycle it will execute. So, in the next, next cycle and in the next plus 1 cycle it will do this thing and after that it will reset to 0 because in state A it will clear in state A it will clear. So, the value will stay in R3 for what only one cycle because in state whenever it reaches to state A it issue the signal clear. Once it is clear signal is issued then it is get a value get erased that means the whatever the computed value will stay in this clock in this clock only. Okay. So, let us see so how it works. So, this is the ASM for the English like statement whatever you have designed. So, this have two register register need to be loaded to uh, from the switches when start is equal to 1. Okay. This is the loading value 1 value 2. Then uh, in the next cycle, so you add this and store into register R3. And clearly this is uh, there are 3 states we can encode it 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0 and this can be changed. So, but uh, let us do it very simplistic encoding and what will be the means uh, present state and next state. If you look at so present state this is present state A, this is the present state A, this is the present state B and this is the present state, this is the present state C and this one is uh, we do not require anything. So, this is actually not required because we have only two states. Okay. So, so present state if you are in state 0, if you are in state 0 then it goes to what state? So, it goes to state, so if you are in state 0 and you are getting a 0, then it is going to next state again A and if you are getting a 1, S is equal to 1, then we are going to state B. Okay. And if you are in state B and getting a S, whatever the values, we do not care. So, whatever the values, it goes to state C, it goes to state C, it do not care. And you are in state C and what were the values do not care. So, it goes to state A and based on the this thing this uh, particular this table this uh, particular next state logic table. So, we can infer so what will be the value of D1 and D2 particular D1 D2 means uh, what will be the next state register values. So, next state register value based on this thing. So, this is the next state one. So, what will be the next state this is the D1, D2. So, in this case D1 is clearly you can say in this case this D1 and this is D2 and D1 can be written as Q1 dex dot Q0. So, this is a D1 dex a Q1 dex. So, this is a uh, in this case you clearly D1 is a, this one this one is 1. So, in this case clearly So, Q1 dex and Q0. So, this one is, uh, no, no, this one is, uh, D1 is we are doing with this one and this is with D2. This is Q1 dex D0 and for this, uh, we are doing for this, this guy. So, this one is S, Q1 dex and Q0 dex. So, this, this one, this one based on this, uh, we are specifying. This is D2 and this is D1. So, this one can be written as this thing. So, this one is, uh, Q1, Q0 and this thing. Okay. And we can clear uh, this thing. So, if you look at what will be the output. So, what are the controller output? Controller output we require CLR, LD1 and LD2. 
So, in state 1, so our web whatever we have written, so our model is actually clearly it is a Moore model for all the cases we are doing Moore modeling, so Moore FSM type modeling in ASM. So, in the states we are doing actions, that means in this current state, so what kind of signal need to be generated? So, in this case, all three register clear signal need to be generated, in this case, load 1 need to be generated and in this case load 2 need to be generated. So, clearly exactly same things what we are doing. So, in this case, so from the present state A B T J state A, then what we are generating? We are generating clear signals and load signal is equal to so 0 0, so this thing. And if you are in state B, this is state B, load 1 we are generating and we are not generating this means clear and L D 2 value is 0 and for state C, so load 2 is generated, so this one. So, clearly clear is equal to, so you are in state A, so this is q1 dash q0 dex, this one is you are in state B, so q0 dex q1 and load 2 means you are in state C, so q1 q0 dex. So, it is simple basic uh, FSM implementations. So, based on what we are looking is what will be the logic for the output. Okay. So, in this case CLR, LD1 and LD2 are output for the output of the control path a controller and S that is start, start is the actually input to the controller. Okay. So, how it will look? So, it will look kind of this is a start and this is clearly 3 output C L R L D 1 and L D 2. So, and what will be the functions? So, functions based on this. So, we have uh, clearly uh, it is similar to FSM implementations and you can see this is the FSM implementations clearly FSM implementations. Okay, FSM or ASM implementation where S is equal to what you can say start signals and optionally when you are in state 0, we can uh, output down signals and this is uh, both controller and data path. So, this part is this part is uh, data path and this part is actually controller this wise controller this is data path and data path have switches register adder okay register r1 r2 and adders and here this load 1 is connected to load 1 or both the registers okay load 1 is connected load 2 is connected to register 3 clear is connected to all the three registers so in state a it clear all the registers, it make it 0. In state B, it load to register R1 and R2 from switches and in state 3, it load the value from the adder to the R3 and R3 is a adder, it is a combinational element, it is do the computations whenever means for all the times, it is uh, constantly it is do the computations. So, whenever value changes in register R1 and R2, it is immediately start computations because it is a combinational things. Okay. So, this is actually complete uh, diagrams of uh, uh, data path and control path. So, how it get implemented already we have already seen what is the next state these things will be. So, this is start okay. input is start then there will be next state logic then that will be because you have three states. So, there will be two lines. Okay. So, there is a q1 and q0 and this thing will get this is the present state. So, the present present state this is next state and from this will have actually more kind of machines. So, here from this, uh, so we have the output logic and from the output logic we will get 
these three signals particularly L all three signals will get CLR all three signal will get CLR L1 LD1 and LD2 all three signals will get uh, from the ASM. So, this is the the basic implementation of uh, regular ASM, ASM whatever do. So, that same controller get implemented here. Here ASM means is actually we are doing controller implementations using basic FSM philosophy, but where we do not consider all input and all output because all the places all inputs are not active, all output are not required to be uh, listed. So, that is why FSM controller is actually little bit complex as compared to ASM controller. ASM controller because it do not list all the things, so it is much more simpler. And let us look at another examples. This is a complete examples. It is also taken from standard our reference book, manual book, uh, chapter 8. And in this example, we will discuss about uh, more 14 counter, ASM chart of uh, more 14 counter with complete examples. Let us start with uh, what is the English like statement for this. And from the English like statements, we will come up with ASM algorithmic state machines. Then once algorithmic state machine will develop, then we will we'll infer the data path, what kind of data path element we require. And then, so we will try to I means uh, implement the controller part of the ASM and finally, we will connect it. Let us look at the English like statement. The English like statement is, so more 14 counter. So, there is a 4 bit counter, suppose A is the counter, 4 bit counter and E specify. So, we want a external means what I can say uh, one specific value E, okay, one specific bit E. E specify it is less than 12 or less than 4. So, what is E specify it is less than 12 and decimal 12 or less than 1 0. So, and E f specify value is equal to 12. E f specify it is value is 12 and E specify it is less than 12 or less than 4. So, clearly means uh, if a2 is equal to 1, then it says that e is equal to 1, else e is equal to 0. So, we are looking at only a2 bit. Suppose there are 4 bits are there a3, a2, a1, and a0. So, if a2 is equal to 1, so if a2 is equal to 1, okay, so a2 is equal to 1. So, a2 is equal to 1. So, it specifies the value is uh, uh, if 1 0 0 if it is a2 is equal to 1. So, then it says if a2 is equal to 1. So, it is we cannot say it is uh, if it is 1 it can be 1 or 0. So, in this case it can be either 8 plus 4 that is 12 or 0 plus 4 this is 4. So, this two number we are looking at if it is 1 the chances is then earlier values are less than 12 or less than 4. So, if e means a 2 is equal to 1 then what are saying is earlier values okay, not the current value if a 2 is equal to 1 earlier values are less than 12 or less than 4 because it can be 0 or 1 and if E f is equal to 1 it specifies the value 12 and it is time to reset after the next counting that means we are going for designing a mod 14 counter. So, this is our problem statements and E depend upon A 2 F depend upon A 3 and A 2. So, so what will be the means, uh, what you can say ASM of for this problem and overall problems how it looks like. So, overall problems, so we have a complete system. So, how it looks like from the top level. So, this one is uh, this one having actually data path and control path and this data path have 
one counter. This is actually counter, four bit counter A3, A2, A1, and A0. And these have two flip flop or two storage, two bit storage. So that one is F and E. Okay, and F can be set, E can be set. So this is set. F can be set. We can set clear E. We can clear E. We can clear A and F. Okay, so either we can clear A and F and increment A. So these are the uh, signals we require. We may require, but in data path clearly. So what signal we require, we'll see later. Okay, but uh, think that what are the data path we require? We require a counter, and we require two flip flop to store two bit, and we require a controller. And initially it starts. Okay, initially it starts. So what the basically? So once it start, start signal comes, then it start the counting, and based on the count values, so E value and F values, E get uh, set, then F get set or resets. Based on that, it will generate something. Okay, so A is a register, and A I stand for ith bit of uh, a register. That is uh, A3, A2, A1, and A0, and E and F are single bit flip flops. So in this case, if uh, for this our English like statements, so initially, so initial state is uh, T zero, so one start signal is one, then only it will do the real operations. Otherwise, it will stay in the same state. It will stay in the same state, and whenever S is equal to one, so what it is doing? It is initializing or clearing. Value of counter A is equal to zero and F is equal to zero. This is clearing the counter and flip flop F, the bit storage F clearing, and every cycle. So if we look at every cycle, so based on the A2 values, every cycle it is doing A is equal to A plus one, and then uh, it is checking for A2. So it is checking for A2. If it is A2 is equal to zero, then E is equal to zero. If A2 is equal to one. Then e is equal to one. So this specifies that previous values. So e is equal to one specifies that previous values are either less than four or less than twelve, based on value of a three, based on value of a three, and a three specifies. Okay, a three is equal to one. Then f is equal to one. Okay, and what f says? So e is equal to one and f is equal to one. Now both E and F are one. That means it says that now it's time to reset the counter. It's time to reset the counter. So because one more, because this have actually three blocks. So we have three states in this ASM. We have three states. So this is a this is one state. So what this will because this is one block. Okay and. This one is another block, and this one is another block. So in this case, a states, and it's associated decision box and conditional state box. All need to executed in one cycle, and it executed at the end of the cycle. Okay, so that's why. So this is. E is equal to this A2 checking and A3 check-ins. It happen in the same cycle, and based on the decisions, it get executed. So clearly, so whenever we say operations of ASM can be illustrated through timing diagram, we'll have timing diagrams. So two factor which must be considered are operations in ASM block occurs at the same time in one clock cycle. So there are Three ASM blocks in this case. In this case, there are three ASM blocks. So this is ASM block one, ASM block two, and ASM block three. There are three ASM blocks. Decision boxes are dependent on status of the previous clock cycle, and that is they don't depend on operation on current block. So what it says here, the trick is we are doing a is equal to a plus one. A is equal to a plus one, and checking this thing, a two, this thing, and this thing. So, in ASM, this 
all things executes in one cycle what happens that means this testing this testing this setting and this setting all happen at the same time a is equal to a plus 1 then a2 testing a3 testing e is equal to 1 setting e is equal to 0 setting all happen in the same cycle that means this is not sequential so particularly this is not sequential this is not sequential after a is equal to a plus 1 happens then only it should happen in regular flow chart but here it happen in the same clock same time that means these statements are not sequential statement okay so that's why these things need to be taken care of very very carefully so what it says that decision boxes are dependent on the status of the previous clock cycle and operations in one asm occurs on the same time in one clock cycle what it signifies because of this statements the whole these things get executed in one cycle at the same time not in sequence okay so that's the most important point and clearly this asm have three blocks and this blocks execute in one cycle this block execute in another cycle and this block execute in another cycles so three different cycles and whole block get executed in one cycle that means we need to generate control signals clearing e setting e then additions so particularly increment increment counter increment counter and set e and what i can say clear e this will be generated this will be generated in the same time based on the value of a2 earlier value of a2 so either set e or clear e will be there so either one will be so that means either this is one this will be zero or this will be zero or this will be one either one case will have occur okay so because these things happen in the same clock cycle in the same time the value of a2 are not from the same clock cycle it is from the earlier clock cycles so ultimately what are the timing let's see the timing diagrams so initially counter so counter is equal to 000 okay so e and up so this is value of e and f are uh, uh, done so initially so e and f value are set so because this one is uh, suppose this one is uh, and t0 so t0 what we are doing is uh, so this values e is equal to 1 and 0 this is a uh, if we are doing in a continuous fashion and started there because initial states so initial conditions so if you look at initial conditions a2 a3 based on the a2 a3 so so initial states so at t0 if s is equal to 1 then only you are setting a is equal to 0 and f is equal to 0 unless s is equal to 1 we are not doing anything so here suppose s is equal to 1 then it goes to the suppose you are in counter 0 initial is counter 0 then what are the earlier values it's do and based on the these are the conditions a2 is equal to a3 then it goes to state t1 so whatever the values is uh, we don't care so suppose these are the things okay so then condition is a2 is equal to 0 and a3 is equal to 0 so this is in state t1 this is state t1 and after that 
So, this is a counter is equal to 0, 0, 0, 1, then E and F is equal to. So, based on this earlier values, this is the earlier values, this is the earlier values, it gets sets. So, this thing is older values and this is, this thing gets set based on this. Clearly, we can say E is equal to 1. So, clearly are able to see this thing in this case. So, this value is set here because this value is getting propagated, this value is getting propagated, this value is getting propagated. This is based on the earlier cycle, this value is getting propagated okay. and in this case are able to see this value get, get propagated and then in this case this value and A2 and A3. So, in this case A2 and A3, so this both the cases it is get 1 1 because this depend upon the earlier values. This is from the earlier values, this is from the earlier values this E gets set from the earlier counter values. Okay, this get from the earlier counter values and what it is set the conditions. So, in this case if you look at these things, so this is A2 is equal to 1 and A3 is equal to 0. So, this what is the condition? Based on these conditions, so this bet get value set, based on these conditions this value gets set. Okay, based on these conditions, so here A2 is equal to 0, A3 is equal to 1. Based on these conditions, this E and F value gets set. Based on these two conditions, because in this case, this value gets set. And based on these conditions, based on these conditions, this value gets set. So, A2, A3 is equal to 1. And if you are in T2, so T2, F is equal to 1. And T2, F is equal to get set 1 not in the same clock cycle in the next clock cycle. This is the values and this is get set in the next clock cycle. So, because of this, uh, this whole ASM block get executed in the same clock cycle and not in sequentially, it happens parallelly. So, this timing diagram need to be understood very, very clearly. This one is earlier values, this one is earlier values. Unless we understand the timing things very clearly, it is very difficult to understand the ITL design, the timing things. And let us design the SM charts completely, what is the digital system, any digital system, SM chart describe digital system. From SM chart we may obtain both controller and the architecture or data processor or data path. So, whatever we say data path or this is uh, FSM part, FSM plus data path. So, FSM is uh, mostly used for design of controller is determined from the decision box and required state transitions. So, whatever the we have this ASM chart, from the ASM chart we can from the decision boxes and required state transitions, we can design the controller and design requirement of the data processor or uh, this is data path, data path can be obtained from the operation specified with the state and the conditional boxes. So, what are the procedure to identify the controller? Step 1 is identify all the states and assign suitable code for the states, so, particularly this is state encoding. Formulate the state table using state from the state box input from the decision boxes and output from the states and conditional boxes. So, this is for the what you can say next state and output logic. Okay. Operation of state box, so this is actually what are the control signals need to generate, CTRL need to generate, what are the next state and what are the output logic. So, in the current state, in the current state, so mood type of and this for this things you need to go for this melee type for both the things uh, what controller need to generate that you need to decide and obtain state or output equations and draw the circuits. So, draw the circuit means particularly next state logic and output logic we need to come up with this. And if you look at this for this ASM diagram, so we have three states. So, let us uh, 
uh, assign code 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0 for this. So, similar to T0, T1 and so in this case let us make it 1, 1. So, for this similar example taken in the book. So, this is the present state and the present state, this is the present state. Based on the present state, if you are getting a 1, then we are going to the next state. Otherwise, we are in the same state. If we are in the present state, based on whatever the value of S do not depend, only value of A2 it is uh, get decided. Okay. And based on the value of A2 and it is based on the value of A2. So, it is go to the next states. So, if it is uh, uh, next state is uh, 0 1. So, if you look at the value of A2. So, value of A2. So, it is value of A2 decides. So, here you are in state present state is 0 1. So, present state is value of A2. This A2 decides where in you are in T1 or you are in because value is uh, suppose if it is 0 value of A2 is decide and you are in state and value is you are in state T1 and you are getting a two values both the things. Okay. So, then in this case value of A2 if it is 0 by default line you are going even for in this case one value need to be a2 and A3 both need to be 1, then only we are going to state T2. So, in this case, both the values of A2 and A1 need to be 1, then only we are going to this is for state 3, otherwise we are not going. And from state 3, any values by default we are going to for state 3, by default we are going to state 0. So, this is the tabulation of present state to next state based on the input and output. So, what are the output? So, output means suppose uh, at what state you are doing and what are the output. So, T0, T1 and T2 at what state, what are the output? So, you are in state 0. So, this is in state 0. So, this this specify the state 0, this specify the state 1 and this specify the state 2. So, in our tabulations, in our tabulations, so this specifies state 1, this is as table 1 and from this, from this table, from this table, from this table, we can come up with what will be the next state logic, what will be the next state logic and at what state, what you are doing that we know. Because in ASM, the output logic is much more simpler. Output logic, it depend upon at what state you are based on the state you generate that signals. Okay. So, if you are in state T1, you are in state T1, then generate this operations, generate this operations, generate this operations. So, let us see the controller how it looks. Okay. So, from this we can generate controller and if you look at suppose uh, uh, clear E clear, clear E. So, clear E when it will do, clear E. So, suppose Z logic CLR E, suppose you want to CLR E you will be, so T1, so you are in state T1 and A2 dash. So, this one is, so when clear this one is T1 state and A2 dash. So, this is the clear for E. So, set for E, set for each T1 and A, T1 and A2. So, this is set for E. What is set for F? Set for F is T2 because without any conditions we are setting to F. If we are in state 3, uh, state 2, it is T2, then by default we are setting F. And when we will clear A and F. So, this is clear A, CLR A, clear A, clear A is equal to clearly T0 into 
S and same things. So, clear app, clear app is equal to T0 into S. You are in state T0 and start signals. So, clearly you are able to infer what are the output control signal we need to generate from the ASM, from the controller. Next state we will get from this table and these are the set of control signals we need to generate. So, in this case uh, set f is equal to T 2. So, let me go back and so what are the signals we require clear E you require then set E you require then set F we require then clear E F we require and increment A you require. So, clearly I and C are A increment A is equal to you are in state 0 and start signals. Okay. So, then clear A no, no, this one is increment A. So, this one is uh, T1, you are in state T1. So, clear A is equal to T0 and S. Similarly, clear F, clear A and F is equal to T0 states. Then set F, set F, set F means set F is you are in state 2, then we are doing set F. Clear, clear E, clear E is equal to at what time were you are in state T1 and A2 is equal to 0 and set E, set E. For set E, you are in state T1 and A2 is equal to 1. So, this is uh, the control signals very good and this FSM, these are the status from the FSM required status from A2 and A3. This a2 and A3 will get from the counter and start signal will get from outsides and all the elements FSM elements are many are registered and play of a clock to require clock signals. So, this is the what you can say how controller and data path will look like. We have already designed the controller. So, from this thing we can design next state logic and controller signals we have already seen. So, how to come up with the architecture and data path processor. So, architecture is more difficult to design than controller, but it can be deduced from the SM chart. So, in the earlier example, so in particular the operations from the SM chart determines what register to be used, how they can be connected, what operations to supports and how these operations get activated and simple guidelines are always use high level unit simplest architecture possible. So, in our case we use one counter 4 bit counter 2 flip flop one for E and one for F because we need to set E and set F or reset E and reset F. Another thing is we require to take A3 and A2 this 2 bits and it is a counter. So, this is a 4 bit counter. So, various operations are counter increments. So, when state in T1 clear the counters then set E then clear E clear F and then uh, this one. So, set F th this one is set F and this is uh, F is set E is clear. So, these are the set of operations we require okay. and based on the operations so, these are the operations defined in ASM. Based on the ASM descriptions, we will come up with the data path or processor. So, one 4 bit register, 4 bit synchronous counter with clear and increment we require because here we are clearing counter and we require increment also. So, this one is this one is increment. We require a counter with clear and increment. We require two flip flop, two flip flop. E and F either JK flip flop or D flip flops, but we require two flip flop with set and resets. 
we require two flip flop E and F with set and resets. This is from the ESM chart. So, we are able to deduce what are the data path we require. And this is the complete diagram. This is the what you can say two flip flop. Okay, and this is the counter. This green part, so particularly these three are the data path components. This is the controller. Controller take two input from counter. This is A2 input and A3 input, and from external it takes starts. Okay, and controller it generates three things which state it is because of ASM. So, controller gives which state it is. So, it is in state 0 that means T0 will be activated, other 2 will be deactivated. If it is in state T1, then T1 will be activated, other will be deactivated. And if it is in T2, then T2 will be activated, other will be deactivated. So, controller will gives you are in which state. And from this T0, T1 and T2, we generate the operations. So, if you look at so, what you are doing? So, you are doing whenever you are in state T0 and S is equal to 1. So, you are in state T0 and S is equal to 1, this values S is equal to 1. What you are doing? This red line. So, are you able to see this, this red line? This is coming and k is equal to, you are making k is equal to 1. If you are making a JK flip of k is equal to 1, then what will do? So, it will reset the f is equal to 0, it will make f is equal to 0. So, irrespective of value of j and j h value is by default working in this case j will be 0, in this case j equal to 0 and this will be 1 that means it will make the thing f is equal to 0. So, this thing is done. Okay. We are in state 1, so in state 1 what we are doing a e is equal to a plus 1. So, so, this one is clear, this one is you are doing clear. So, if it is state 0, if you state 1, then you are incrementing. Are you able to see this thing? Blue line, blue line it is incrementing the count and you are not doing anything blue line. So, blue line will be 0 for other cases. If you are in state suppose, if you are in state T2, suppose in T2, T2 what you are doing? So, in this case T2 E is equal to 1. So, so, in case of, so E is equal to 1, so 1 T1 is equal to E1 is equal to T1 and A2 is equal to 1. So, E is equal to 1, so 1 you will look at A2, this one is A2, this one is A2 and T1, so this is you are getting T1, so this one is T1. So, this is, this is uh, what you are doing, this one is 1, this one is a2 is equal to 1. So, this is A2 is equal to 1, 1, 1, it will make it 1 and in this case, this is this one is 1, this one and 1 and this one is 0. So, 1, 0 make it 0. So, that means 1 plus 1 and 0, jk 1, it will make it 1. So, clearly in state when E will get 1. So, E will get 1 when you are in state T1 and A2 is equal to 1, in that case E will be 1. So, for all 3 cases, so all 3 cases, so we are able to handle the things. Another cases is when you are in state, you are in state T1, you are in state T1 and we require, you require to clear, you are in state T1 and a1 is equal to 0 and A1 is equal to 0. In this case, we need to clear. So, you are in state T1, you are in state T1 and this A2, not A1, A2 is equal to 0. So, in this case, suppose this one is 0. The, if the one is 0, then this will be 1, 0, 1, 0, this will make it 0 and this is, this one is uh, 1 and this one will be 1 and this one this one make it 0 and whatever the earlier values it will be because this one need to be E values. So, this one is inverted value, this one is T1, this one is 1 and this one is this one is make it 0, 1 0 make it 0 and it will make it 0 0 value it will it should do a 
reset might be we may require a exactly opposite thing so then only it will do reset so so whenever you are in state t1 and a2 is equal to 0 so it should reset the value e so another signal is missing but uh, it can be added very nicely okay so in this way we need to uh, include both the controller and data path so this path is actually if you look at this part is data path and this is actually controller so how we can implement the whatever we have uh, stated in the problem statements both controller and data path okay so this is a fully complete examples with this example hope things are got clear so main summary of this uh, thing is in a sm block all things states its conditions and all decision boxes okay decisions boxes conditional boxes all statement get executed in one cycle and that also in parallel okay so because of this thing this timing need to be very very careful this is the take from this lectures okay thank you Thank you.